Hi, are you using nested ACF repeater fields to manage complex dynamic data on your website? Or planning to do something like this in the future then you will find this video interesting. In this video, I will show you how to display that data managed with nested ACF repeater fields on the front end, using Elementor and our plugin Anywhere Elementor Pro. This pricing table is inspired by Cloudway's pricing table. There is three level of nested repeater fields. The first one is for adding hosting platforms, like DigitalOcean, Linode, and Volter. Next is the sub-repeater to add plans for each platform. And then, the last third level repeater is for adding features associated with each plan. Let's take a closer look at the ACF field setup inside WordPress admin. So here, I have created a parent repeater field platforms. The first one is a simple text field for plan title, and then a sub-repeater field for plans. The plans repeater field also has a sub-repeater field called features. Now, let's see how this field structure with the data on the post-edit screen looks like. Here, we have this top-level repeater for platforms, under this a text field for platform title, and then a sub-repeater for plans within that platform. After this basic information about the plan, there is another repeater for plan features. After completing this setup, it's time to head towards designing repeater templates. The most efficient way for designing templates for each repeater field is to start from the bottom. So I will first start with designing the layout for features the third level repeater. For this, let's create an AE template. Choose render mode as ACF blocks. Field location as post. We also support repeater fields associated with options page. Choose field types as repeater. In preview post, choose a post slash page where you have this repeater field and also have some data on it. Data from this page will be used to display preview while editing in Elementor editor. And now choose the repeater field. In this case, I will choose features. You can see the hierarchy of nested repeater fields here. Now save and start editing with Elementor. Here you will have to use our AEACF fields widget to display the data. In this widget, select field type as text. Source as post field. Parent field type repeater field. Now select the repeater field features. And in subfields, type a couple of letters, and it will populate with the matching subfields of the above selected repeater field. Now do the rest of the configuration and design it as per your requirement. With this, the repeater template for features repeater is done. Now let's move one level up and design the template for plans repeater. I hope you remember this field structure I have explained to you at the start of this video. Creating the template for this is similar to the previous one. Create a new AE template with configuration same as previous. Except that now you will have to select plans under the repeater field. Edit it with Elementor. Add AE ACF field widget to display all its subfields. And to show the features, use the AEACF repeater widget. In block layout, select the template created earlier for features repeater. Select features under the repeater field. That's it. The features for this plan are showing up fine. Now let's make a template for top level repeater field platforms. Repeat the same process as above. Create an AE template and edit with Elementor. Here I will just add the ACF repeater field widget and choose the template created for plans repeater. By now, all the repeater templates are ready. Now I need to display this on the page. So I will open this page nested repeaters. It has this repeater field with all the data. Open the page in Elementor editor. Add AEACF repeater widget. Select skin as tab. Then choose the top-level block layout created for platform repeater. Select the repeater field and mention the subfield that will be used to display tab title text. That's it. The nested repeater data is all here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any queries, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.